this trail lithium we are about to ride might be one of the best trails I have ever ridden. You're probably asking yourself, why? Why is this trail so great? Is it the serenity? Is it the beautiful vistas? No, it's the vast open alpine meadows. It's the really steep, gnarly stuff through the trees. It's the tech. It's the roots. It's the jumps. This trail literally has everything on it. I can't wait to be able to come back to this trail and ride it again over and over and be able to do some of the bigger features. I absolutely love this trail. Wait till you see the variety that it holds. Okay, now we are climbing. We're back at the top of the pass and we're gonna climb about 867 feet or something. We will eventually hit lithium and that's the goal to run lithium down. Let's get back to climbing. I think we're elevation is like 10,000 plus feet, something like that. What's cool along the trails is they have all these little signage posted and you can see a little map and you see the little happy face. That's where you are. And then you can see the trail you want to go to. And I want to hit lithium. So it's going to be straight up this hill. Okay, we made it to the fork in the road. So this way is lithium. So there's a nice little sign right here. And then the happy face, downhill bikes only. Sweet. All right, let's check this trail out. Woohoo, super stoked. Oh, finally, that uphill climb was long and probably, I don't know, close to 11,000 feet now, but rad open alpine meadow. This is cool. This is so rad. It's like a magazine up here. Oh, sweet. Look at this. This is awesome. This stuff is long, it's hard to see the trail. <laughs> Just traversing these rad meadows.
Oh, this is nice and steep. I know it never looks like it on camera, but rocky and steep. <laughs> Super loose. That was fun. Bunch of roots, drops. Log drops, roots. Ah, oh, this is nice and steep. Yeah. And what is this? It's the go around. After a steep hike a bike up this trail, looks like we get to go back down again and looks like we're riding this uh, ridge line. Knife edge ridge line maybe. A little rocky section to get you started. Drops, rocky drops, a little bit of everything. All right, nice gnarly steep section here. Holy crap, really steep. <laughs> Was close. <laughs> All right, here we go. Continuation. Oof. Good little rocky section there. Oh, look at those roots. <laughs> Man, this is really rocky up here. It's cool. Oh, that is super steep. Oh, this is super steep too. Right into the catch berm. Woo! <laughs> oh. Lots of roots, rocks, drops. Wow, this is super steep. It doesn't look like it on film, but it's like straight down almost. Wasn't for those catch berms you would be going off the edge. <laughs> oh. Woo. Yeah! Oh my god, that oh, was awesome! More steep. And loose. Another steep section and a berm against that tree. Oh. Thank goodness for all these catch berms. <laughs> ah, no dabs either. <laughs> yeah, this is sick. It's really so much steeper than it is on camera. 
basically be steering <laughs> with your back tire. <laughs> Big, long, steep, bumpy, rocky, rooty section. Let's thread these roots. Hit this big corner. Steer with the back tire in the trees. I don't know if I go down that way or up this way. Well, I guess we're going this way. I just hiked back up to the split. I think this way is like a go around. I think this way is steeper so let's go this way and stick with the steep theme oh yeah for sure this is really steep oh yeah oh yeah oh <laughs> you had to thread the needle on those stumps I might have to take my goggles off it's getting pretty dark in here now I don't know how the Rest of the trail plays out. Cool little two drop, little drop thing back there. Oh, another steep rocky part here. Whoa, whoa, front tire washed out a little bit. Oof. Back in the woods. Off the ridge line in the darkness. Uh, I'm having trouble seeing good with these goggles and the tinted lenses. Alright, if we're gonna be in the woods the rest of the time. I may have to stop and take these goggles off. Whew. That was a tricky root section. All right, just FYI, you come to this intersection, you're coming down from right here. Got this trail coming in. And then you got this split. You want to go to the left to stay on lithium. This is like a horse trail or something. Quick goggle removal back on the trail. <laughs> they get going pretty fast after that drop. Oh, no speed. Oh, that looks fun. Oh yeah, that's that. If I saw video, it's not too bad. Oh, not enough speed. Damn. What's this? Oh yeah, that should be good. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, oh. geez, wasn't expecting that corner. Woohoo! <laughs> Yeah.
Alright, let's look at this before we leap. Oh yeah, nothing. Big deal. No big deal. <laughs> oh, look at that thing. That's sweet. <laughs> it's so hard riding blind, not knowing the trail, not following anyone who's done it before. You don't know where anything is, but at least you'll know for next time. <laughs> Woo! Oh, nose bonker rocker. Hoop. Oh. G out. Man, all these roots beat the body up. That's for sure. Oh, woo, made it in one piece. That was sick. Oh, that looks refreshing. Hey guys. Woo, that was a super epic ride today on Teton Pass. I made it down alive, hiked up that crazy climb for me anyway, and did lithium and oh my God, lithium was so awesome super techy, super steep, and then finishes off with really nice jumps at the bottom. It was awesome. So thanks for coming along with me today on this ride. And I had an awesome time riding here in Jackson Hole, Wyoming, and it's been an epic road trip. All right, till the next one, peace. What makes that trail so fantastic is the pure variety. Thanks for tuning in to the last episode of the Road Trip Series. Next video, we'll be back in Southern California. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button so you can get updates on new content.